out, Shay. Where'd you guys get that? Don't ask. That way, if anybody asks you, you won't know nothing. Do we get to keep it? Are you deaf or something? And if Mom wants to know if you've seen us, you tell her you didn't. Moors keep their mouth shut. Oh. Did someone get that? Hello? Hello, Mrs. Moore. Sunny home. What's Sunny done now? Mrs. Keith just called. She reported that she had her TV stolen. How do you know it's Sunny? Mrs. Dawes saw your boys carrying something that looked like a TV. Well, she blames my kids for everything that happens around here. The TV's right outside on your porch. Has anyone seen Sonny? Marlene, have you seen your brothers? You lying to me, Marlene? I don't know nothing. Call me when he gets in, okay? Why is it any time there's trouble I can count on you to be involved? Huh? You better tell me what you know. I don't know nothing. Oh, right. If you don't know nothing, how come the neighbors are always complaining? No! And the school is bleeding down my neck and there's always police in my truck. No! I've had it. Let me out. I have told you kids I don't want you stealing. Now you will stay in there until you tell me what you know about that damn TV. Look, I didn't even do it. Would you open the door? You tell me what you know or your dad will get it out of you when he gets home. Come on, let's... Let me out, you bitch! Shut up, Marley! No, I mean it! I need some help controlling my daughter. Michael Copeland, Heather Allen, we're Marnie Moore's lawyers. Take him up to the interview room. I'm not going to let you personalize this case. I've been working on it for four years. I know what I'm talking about. Well, she will when she realizes that her whole life is at stake. Her whole life has been in jail. She, 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 she pleads guilty even when she's not. She's not, she's not going to fight this. On your feet. Your lawyer's here. They're treating me like a murderer. That's what we're here to explain to you. I'll slash, Michael. I swear I will. A bunch of waterheads around here are driving me stir crazy. Will you give me a minute? You pull the knife on the cop, you plead guilty to the weapons offense, and you expect to be sentenced, right? Yes. Well, before the sentencing, the Crown applied to have you declared a dangerous offender. He wants to send you back to the prison for women indefinitely. <laughs> it's a weapons beef. I should pull three years at the most. He doesn't want a short term. He wants to lock you away for good. 
Why? What for? I didn't even do nothing. It's not what you've done to date. It's what you might do in the future. Under this law, they only have to prove that you pose a serious threat to society. <sighs> what? A serious threat to society? <laughs> I don't even know what society's like. Maybe society poses a serious threat to me. I don't see what is so funny here. I spent half of my life in prison. Most of it in the digger. Do you consider me threatening? You think a court's gonna? Well, plead me guilty. Get me to where I'm going. No, there's no plea. Excuse me. Do you understand what Michael is saying here? They want to have you declared a dangerous offender. You'll be the first woman in the country to be classified in this way, and the outcome of this case will affect all the women that come after you. Can I have a smoke? This application against you totally violates your fundamental right to justice. You can't just hand over your life to these people, Marlene. You have to fight. Heather's going to be standing up for you in court. Look, we'll have you move to the city as soon as we can. Great. That's all I want. Let's go. I'm not sorry if I was indignant. About time. He finally put a smile on this piece of mine. Whoa, Momo, leave your stuff. What about my transfer? Who said anything about a transfer? It's shower time. I'm getting out of here today. Yeah, I'm getting out of here in an hour. Just a routine search. Here's your plug. Just settle down. Don't mess with me. And I won't mess with you. Take it easy. Hey, 
your tech with me. <laughs> hey, only 20 stitches. Hell, I didn't destroy government property. <laughs> I only slightly damaged it. Are you all right? Well, I will be if she quits making me laugh. <laughs> Look, she done such a fine job, won't even have no scar. Look, it's the middle of the night. I've come a long way. This isn't a joke. You might as well have a good time, right? No use crying about it. What's done is done. Mr. Wong, outpatient inquiry, please. Take down. Watch your step. Or did they just send you to mess up my head? was in such a hurry to get back inside. Whenever I'm being transported, I check out license plates, see where people are from. Do you do that? Every car today has had an Ontario plate. <laughs> hey, do you know how many female drivers have passed us? No. 28. Here's one for you. How many illegals without seatbelts have we passed? 